Eugene, it's almost 10 o'clock. What's taking so long? I know, I know. Something's up with the bike. I barely rode it 30 miles yesterday, and now it won't switch gears without making a noise. Eugene, look at me. I've been at this for two hours. I'm sure the bike works fine. Just don't switch your gears. Get on the road now. Don't forget your lunch. And wipe yourself off. I suppose you're right. Thank you. Eugene, I was wondering when you'd show. I assume you have my parcel. Of course, Frank. I've got it right here for you. Thank you. How's Bonnie? Fine. Listen, I've got a letter to deliver to my brother Thomas. It's urgent, so bring it to him by sundown. He lives on the way to Greenfield in the brick house. You won't miss it. Sure thing. Anything else? Nothing. Thank you for the parcel. Oh, and here's the news for you. Thank you. And this is for the job. I do realize it's far. Oh, well, best be on your way. Thomas Sylvester, Frank second. Oh, yes, come in, please. Set your bag down, make yourself feel at home. Jeez, that weather has been so hot out lately. So what brings you to Greenfield? I sure could use a drink after a long day of work. Would you care for a glass? Oh, no, thank you. Could I get a glass of water? Sure thing. Margaret, darling, would you uh, fetch me a glass of water and a pitcher? And uh, would you get dinner plated, please? Oh, thank you for your hospitality, but I shouldn't stay long. My wife is waiting for me at home. Please, stay for supper. Thank you. Thank you. I suppose I could stay an hour. Uh, it should be a good thing if you did. The whole family's coming down from Chicago. We got chicken and beans, rice, corn. <laughs>
Well, I'd best be going. My wife is probably worried. Oh, please, I promise you are well invited for supper. Oh, well, it's nothing. I just had a long day, and I should probably get home. Riding after dark isn't so safe. Well, you are right about the sun going down. Well, well, you're welcome back anytime. Thank you for your hospitality. Oh, and here's a letter from your brother. It's probably about our mother. She's been battling polio for quite some time. Maybe your fight is over. Thank you for the letter. Well, you be safe getting home now. Thank you. Is everything all right? You've looked like a ghost since you got home. Yes, of course. I'm just worried the bike is off. Listen, Jean, I'm sure it's fine. If it really bothers you, you should take it to the shop when you have time. Beatrice, I would, but I've been swamped with letters and deliveries. You saw how late I came home last night. I was almost to Greenfield. I'm sure I can fix it myself. Beatrice, there's something terribly wrong. Would you quit it with your worry about that bike? Take it to the shop. If you have time to drop by the house in the middle of your work day, then you have time to go into town. Now I have to get to work. Beatrice, this is serious. Not now, dear. Beatrice, it's seriously not about that. I haven't been feeling well these past couple of days. Dear, you feel fine. And I promise it's not going to get any better if you keep worrying about it. Now, I suggest you get on and make your deliveries before it gets too late. It's already six, and I can't be the only one working around here. You're right. And I'll go to the doctor tomorrow. Are you kidding? Jean, it's not that serious. Get on with it. Sure.
Eugene, why the hell are you so late? It's half past six. Were you in town or something? What, what do you have for me? Also, did you get that letter to my brother? Yes, I got it to him before sundown. I've got these for you. Hmm. Would have been nice to get these at, say, two o'clock, say, the time you should be getting here. Listen, Frank, I'm sorry. I lost track of time. You lost track of time? That's fine, Eugene. Tomorrow, you get here at 2 p.m. like you should. I should really get on with my deliveries. Yeah, I bet. I'll see you tomorrow.